Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm excited to introduce you to the Thomas Rig Legacy, showcasing all its incredible features. I'll be guiding you through every step, from installing the extension to appending and using the rig in your project. The first step would be to download the add-on and then install it in Blender. For the Thomas Rig Legacy, it's very easy. The extension is available on the Blender extension platform, so we don't need to install it from the website. Instead, we will download and install it directly within Blender. Now we're here in Blender and the first thing we have to do is to go to Edit Preferences to open the User Preferences. Then we choose the tab Extensions and we can search online for the extension Thomas. Now this extension can be found here. If you click on this little triangle, there are also some information. And now we can click on install and Blender will automatically download and install the extension. I press N to open the shelf on the right side. We will find a little Thomas Rick Legacy tab here and now you can see here's a little information box. Because the add-on doesn't have the Minecraft textures in its source files, we need to load them. This works only if you have a legal copy of Minecraft on your computer, at least version 1.21. No snapshots, but a full version. If you don't have a Minecraft version installed, you can skip this step and the add-on will use fallback textures. However, in this case, you won't be able to use armor trims. We will proceed to load the textures. At the bottom, you can see the info message 1.21.3 Minecraft textures are loaded. By pressing Shift A and choosing Thomas Rig Legacy, we can append the rig. You will see here is the new custom UI. It's rewritten and a bit simpler than the UI of the previous rig versions. The UI comes with a rig pointer. It will store the reference to the rig so we can still access the rigs option even if we haven't selected it. This can be turned on and off with the little icon next to it. I will demonstrate it and you will notice that the pointer also changes when another rig is selected. This feature comes in quite handy for maintaining better control of the custom UI and if you have multiple rigs in your scene. Next we have an anti-lag option which decreases the subdivisions of the mesh of the rig to improve the viewport performance. Next to it the simplify option which will set the viewport's maximum subdivision surface level for the whole scene. This can increase performance even more, especially if set to zero. For the design options we have a second layer option. This will activate the second layer of the skin. You will not see it right now because the sieve skin doesn't have a second layer. Beneath it there is the option for smooth bands. When bending the leg or the arm we normally have sharp bands, but if you activate the options you will see there should be or there are smoother bands. This can only be seen if anti-lag and simplify is turned off because this needs some type of subdivision. There is also a new setting for adding an egg and you can even make it a little bit more smooth or bendy if you activate the bendy option. Then it will deform to get to the head's location. Then there's also the GB mode again, which will make the rig smaller and the head proportionally bigger. Then there's also the no face option, which will deactivate the face. The texture deform option, which will activate texture deformation if you use facials. And then there's also the brow height, which will change the height of the eyebrows. The rig also supports slim or Alex arms, but also 3x3 arms, which is completely new for the Thomas rig. This also works with the finger system, but you have to know that when using 3x3 arms there will only be 4 fingers in total. Also, there is no female mode, but we have new mesh deformations, which will be able to help you creating more refined shapes for your body. We have the leg taper, the waist and also the breast size. You will see the mesh will deform and you can actually create your own female mode with all these three sliders. This looks especially good when using either slim arms or 3x3 arms, because Steve arms are a little bit big for it. The material tab has all the settings you need for materials. Let's start with the skin changer. You can use the image pack operator and the change operator to open and apply your skin. I'll deactivate the face option for now which will grey out the eye settings. Let's turn the face back on. You can also reload and download your skin directly in Blender. 
If you don't load it, it gets packed, so you won't lose it. For the eyes, we have different types, like solid color, eye textures and the normal eye material. You can even set different colors for each eye if you activate the corresponding setting. Adjust all the colors and rim sizes to your liking. Plus, you can tweak the eye object's roughness and use custom eyebrow colors instead of the skin's color. The Posing tab has all the options for posing the rig. First up, you can choose how the bones are displayed, either in front of the meshes or normally. Next, we have IK, Inverse Kinematics and FK, Forward Kinematics options. IK has one controller that also manages the bend of the arm. FK has two controls for that. You can turn off the mesh stretching as well. The global icon activates global IK, so the arm maintains its position globally, not relatively. For the legs, we also have IK and FK options. FK allows you to control the lower and upper leg separately. Stretching can also be turned off again. When using IK, you can activate the whole body movement option, making the body follow the pose. The full rigged face is pretty self-explanatory. It shows more bones for facial expressions, helping you to pose more accurately. The head world option. If activated, it makes the eyes always focus on the eye tracker. When it's activated, you get more options. Those are called the eye tracker options. We have three options for that. The easy look option, which is represented by the monkey icon, rotates and poses the head based on the eye movement. The easy look mouth option, represented by the triangle icon, controls the mouth along with the eyes. The easy look body option, represented by the body icon, makes the body follow the eyes movement. The eyes follow option deforms the eyelids to mimic the eye movements. The last option for deforming and posing would be the smart deform option, which twists and deforms the whole head following the eye movement. You can turn this on and off and control the influence of it. Also, the bone visualization of this can be turned off. Let's dive into the most exciting features of this rig edit. First, let's reset all the settings real quick. The following features are all appended to ensure minimal blend file size and optimal performance. We have the default armor with new settings. You can mix and match every possible armor combination and any armor trim can be used with any color. To do this, make sure the original Minecraft textures are loaded. Hover over the color and press Ctrl Z, then hover over the others and press Ctrl V to paste the color into the other boxes. If you don't like the armor, simply delete it or press Ctrl Z after appending it. Without the original textures, armor trims will be grayed out and you will only have access to fallback textures. These fallback textures are self-made and resemble the original ones, though they look slightly different. Now onto custom armor. In this legacy version, two new custom armors are introduced. The scuba diver armor and a cool new samurai armor. The rig has even more to offer. You can add and remove a cape and change even the cape texture very easily. It also has some visibility options to hide the cape in the render or in the viewport. There's also an elytra rig, which has the same options. And there are also some small additional assets, including a blood splatter, two blushes and three types of eyelashes. These assets integrate perfectly with the rig. They get automatically appended and also parented to the rig to ensure correct deformation and posing. That covers everything about this rig edit. Install the extension, use the rig and have fun. I can't wait to see you using it. And if you enjoyed the overview, please like the video and subscribe.